let me show you a very simple Dart program. So here you can see that we have a main function and we have two other functions named optional positional parameters and named parameters. These two functions are the same. We have the same parameters and inside we are printing the values of these parameters. Only the names are different at this moment. Now inside the main function, if you call the function optional positional parameters, you will need to pass the values for all of these parameters and you have to maintain the proper position because these are required positional parameters. So if you want to pass age, you have to pass the value at the second position. If you want to pass address, you have to pass the address at the third position. Similarly, you have to pass the occupation at the fourth position and phone number at the fifth position. If you make any mistake while passing the values, for example, if you pass the occupation at the third position, then you are going to print a wrong value for the address, right? So in some cases, when we have a large number of parameters, when we have a large number of values to be passed to a function this approach may lead to some errors for example in some cases we may not even want to pass the values for all of the parameters and in some cases it may be a little difficult to maintain the positions of the parameters because we have a large number of items right so in such a case making some of the parameters optional helps and if we can make them named if we can access the parameters by their name it is even better in Dart, we can do that using the optional positional parameters and using the named parameters. So first, let us take a look at this first function, optional positional parameters. If you enclose these parameters by the square bracket, this is going to make them optional positional parameters. So they are optional. Now you don't need to pass the values for all of the parameters, but they are still positional so you have to maintain the position you can pass the value for the name and you can skip the rest you can pass the value for the name and age and you can skip the rest but you cannot pass the value for name age and phone number by skipping the two parameters in between because they are positional and if you while calling the function you have to pass three values even though you are thinking this to be for name age and phone number but when you pass three values this will be considered for the first three positions so they are optional but still they are positional you have to maintain the position now you can make some of the parameters optional and you can make all of the uh, parameters optional if you make some of the parameters optional and if you keep some as required then you have to declare the optional parameters towards the end you cannot declare a required parameter a compulsory parameter after declaring the optional parameters and while declaring the optional parameters you have to provide a default value for the optional parameters using this syntax if you don't pass a default value then null will be used as the default value so you have to make it nullable by adding the question mark to the type now try to run this one uh, run this program and let us not pass any value for the default parameters and you will notice that null is getting printed for address and the default value developer is getting printed for occupation and again null for phone number because the default values are used here while printing now let us call it again but this time let's provide some values for the optional parameters and you will notice that the default values are ignored instead the values that we are passing while calling the function are used now let us take a look at the second function named parameters in this case in this time let us enclose these parameters by the curly bracket instead of the square bracket and this will make them named parameters these two are optional but additionally this time you will be able to access them by their name so you don't have to maintain position you can pass the value for only the phone number if you want you can pass the value for any of the parameters or all of the parameters or you can use any combination while passing the value, while calling the function, you have to use the name of the parameter, then you have to add a colon and then you have to provide the value. So in this case, you can pass only the value for the name, you can pass the values for name and address, you can pass values for only phone number and so on. Here too, while declaring the variables, declaring the name parameters, you have to provide a default value. If you don't provide a default value, null will be used, so you have to make it nullable. Now, in some cases, you may want to make the parameters named, but you may still want them to be required, to be compulsory, not to be optional. In such a case, you have to use the keyword required while declaring the parameters. This will make them required, but still you will be able to access them using their name as they are named parameters. If you have ever created a Flutter app and you have created any instance of a Flutter widget, you have probably noticed this pattern. 
because flutter widgets are some classes we have some parameters we initialize we provide the values for those parameters through the constructor and they are often named parameters and they are uh, and and sometimes we have some required parameters we must provide values otherwise we get errors and in some cases some are optional right now i hope this video has helped you don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and say hello in the comments